Preventing kidney stones isn't complicated, but it does take some determination. Did you know that animal protein could lead to kidney stones? What are the stone forming foods? In this video, we'll be talking about all this and more. If you've ever had a kidney stone, you'll surely remember it. The pain can be unbearable. Kidney stones form when certain chemicals become concentrated enough in the urine to form crystals. The crystals grow in large masses which can make their way through the urinary tract. If the stone gets stuck somewhere and blocks the flow of urine, it causes pain. Most stones occur when calcium combines with one of two substances, oxalate and phosphorus. Stones can also be formed from uric acid which form as the body metabolizes protein. Now how can you avoid these kidney stones? Watch till the end to get the answers on how you will avoid suffering from kidney stones. And before we begin, subscribe and hit the bell so you'll always be the first to get helpful videos like this one. Preventing kidney stones means preventing the conditions that support their formation. A correct eating plan established by a doctor can prevent new kidney stones. But how are kidney stones formed from the beginning? Urine may be lacking in substances that prevent the crystals from adhering to each other, making an ideal environment for kidney stone formation. Kidney stones really have many causes and can affect any part of the urinary tract from the kidneys to the bladder. Kidney stones generally do not have a single defined cause. All the different factors can increase the risk of suffering them. Expelling kidney stones can be quite painful, but in general, the stones do not produce permanent damage if they are identified in a timely manner. As the case may be, you may only need to take certain pain relievers and plenty of water to flush out a kidney stone. You see, in many cases, it is relatively easy to treat. And don't worry, we are sharing with you some recommendations you may consider. Number 1. Drink more water Although it depends on physical activity level, age, health-related issues, and environmental conditions, it is believed that drinking water provides a lot of benefits to our body. Drinking extra water dilutes the substances in urine that lead to stone. Try to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. If you still don't drink that amount, gradually increase the amount of liquid you consume. The gradual increase will give you the time to adjust to the additional liquid. One of the best ways to know if you are drinking enough water is when your urine is light or light yellow in color. If it is dark yellow, then you are not drinking enough. It may also help to include some citrus beverages like lemonade and orange juice. The citrate in these beverages helps block stone formation. Number 2. Eat less salty foods A high sodium diet can trigger kidney stones because it increases the amount of calcium in your urine. So a low sodium diet is recommended for the stone prone. According to Healthline Post, the World Health Organization suggests consuming 2,000 mg of sodium per day, and the American Heart Association advises a much lower intake of 1,500 mg. It also helps to reduce blood pressure and risk of heart-related diseases. Eating less salt and salty foods is always the right thing to do to prevent kidney stones. One way to do this is to avoid processing foods and limit how often you eat in restaurants. Talking to your doctor or dietitian about how much calcium is needed daily is ideal. Always try to get your calcium from food instead of supplements. Milk, cheese, and yogurts are good sources of calcium that can help you. Number 3. Limit High Oxalate Foods If you have an oxalate kidney stone, your doctor may ask you to limit certain foods that have a lot of oxalate such as dark green vegetables, nuts, and chocolate. It is not necessary that you stop consuming these foods, only that you eat or drink in a smaller quantity. Once consumed, oxalate can bind to minerals to form compounds, including calcium oxalate and iron oxalate. For most people, these compounds are eliminated in the stool or urine. However, for sensitive individuals, high oxalate diets have been linked to an increased risk of kidney stones and other health problems. For everyone else, particular foods and drinks are unlikely to trigger kidney stones unless consumed in extremely high amounts. Some studies have shown that men who take high doses of vitamin C in the form of supplements are at slightly higher risk of kidney stones. That may be because the body converts vitamin C into oxalate. Number 4. Animal Protein in a Balanced Diet 
eating too much animal proteins such as red meat, poultry, eggs, and seafood boost the level of uric acid and could lead to kidney stones. These foods contain too much protein and too much protein could lead to kidney stones. If you are prone to stones, limit your daily meat intake to a quantity that is no bigger than a pack of playing cards. This is also a heart healthy portion. Follow a balanced diet that is not too high in animal protein. It is not necessary that you stop consuming these foods at all, but by talking to your doctor or dietitian, you can establish how much protein you need and a way to obtain it in your body. A kidney stone may not cause symptoms until it begins to move through the kidney until it passes through the ureter, which is the tube that connects the kidney and bladder. For more information about the symptoms, try watching our video, Symptoms of Kidney Infection. The pain caused by a kidney stone can be variant. For example, it can move to a different location or its intensity can increase as it moves through the urinary tract. If you've ever had a kidney stone, I'm sure you'll never want to have them again, right? Knowing the type of kidney stone helps determine the cause and can also offer clues about how to reduce the risk of having more kidney stones. If possible, if you eliminate the kidney stone, try to keep it to take it to your doctor with the aim of having it analyzed. The type of kidney stones can be calcium stones. The vast majority of kidney stones are calcium stones, usually form calcium oxalate. Oxalate is a substance found naturally in food and is also produced by the liver on a daily basis. Struvite stones. Struvite stones form in response to an infection such as urinary tract infection. These stones can grow rapidly and become very large, sometimes very few symptoms or little warning. Another, uric acid stones. These stones can form in people who do not have enough fluid or who lose a lot of fluid, those who eat a high protein diet or those who have gout. There is also cystine stones. These stones form in people with an inherited disorder that causes the kidneys to excrete a large amount of certain amino acids or cystinuria. Number 5, and this we should always consider, talk to your doctor about preventive medications. Always consult your doctor if you decide to take vitamins or supplements. This may recommend that you limit the amount of fish liver oil or calcium supplements you consume. In addition, it is necessary not to take more than the recommended daily dose of vitamin C and D. If you are prone to certain types of kidney stones, certain medication can help control the amount of that material present in your urine. The type of medication prescribed will depend on the type of stones you usually get. Why end up suffering from kidney stones if you can avoid them with all precision and be forewarned knowing what your risk factors are? Consider these factors that increase the risk of kidney stones, family or personal history, dehydration, your diets, the obesity, surgeries and digestive diseases. Knowing these important risk factors, it will be easier to find a kidney stone diagnosis, don't you think? Have we missed some important risk factor that you can contribute? Let us know in the comments. If you find this video useful, be sure to like and share it with your family and friends. Remember that sharing this valuable information is caring for everyone.